Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. Today I'm doing a paid review. Paid reviews is your chance to hear the answers from your favorite YouTube celebrity, the Pontiff Archibald Chesterfield III. Today I'm doing paid review C24. And before I start that, let's do a quick whist, whist, whist watch check. I'm wearing my new Rolex Explorer 1, the 39mm. Absolutely love it. Okay, here we go. This is for Kevin. Kevin. <coughs> now, Kevin is saying he sent me a, a paid review. Um, this is actually a paid review from a while ago. So I, I do apologize, Kevin, for being a bit slack. I am catching up. I have pretty well caught up. Kevin says, we'll be buying an Amiga Aquaterra 41. He quotes me a reference number there. It's a uh, an Amiga. Let's have a look. At, see, they, they, these Amiga reference numbers, I never bothered to learn them because they are so fucking, I don't know what to say. It's uh, 2103.001, and it's got a blue dial. Let's call this up. And he's buying it with the bracelet. The bracelet. Ah, it's a coaxial. Coaxial. Aqua yeah, as you said, Aquaterra. Uh, just a very quick, quick look at that there. That's what it, it looks like. He's buying it on a, a bracelet. Quite a... I, I quite like the Aquaterras there, I must say. I, I do quite like them. Uh, he's buying it with the bracelet. Have I got a bracelet photo of that? I don't know. Um, I don't seem to... Uh, let's have a look here. I'll just see if I can call one up just so we could see what it looks like on the bracelet. No. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Okay, comes on a bracelet. Nope, not a problem. Uh, all on your advice and what I can afford. In five years, I hope to buy a two tone day chest. Two tone day chest 41. Thank you kindly, Kevin from Bethy Star. Bethy. Beth Esda, Maryland, USA. Well, hang on a minute, Kevin. Let's just back some trucks up. Um, i got to be completely honest with you. Hang on a minute there. What are you paying for this, this uh, Aquaterra? I don't hate it, but i got to be honest with you. I've just come from Sydney. And I want to be honest with you, Omega is fucking terrible fucking terrible um a good dealer friend of mine i've often mentioned him cove from sydney watch exchange uh he's, he's a good guy uh look look i'm not paid to recommend him he's he's, he's okay uh i also recommend uh vintage watch co in sydney they're they're great guys um he actually, I was having a bit of a talk to him about Omega today, and I've got to be honest with you, Omega is fucking soft, fucking soft. And we were talking about Omegas, and, and, and he, he told me the story. He had a, a guy who actually bought a Planet Ocean. He, he bought it from an Omega boutique. I think he paid. I'll just show you the watch there. That's the watch. Quite a lovely watch. Quite a, I must say, I, I actually, I don't know if he had that one or another one, but it's quite a hefty quality watch. Uh, I quite like the blue. Quite like the blue. Um, <coughs> it was a 2016 box and papers. Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean, 600 meters, 45.5 mil. Automatic chronograph, 18K rose gold and blue ceramic. The guy paid 16,000, 16,000 
dollars for it and the resale value was fucking atrocious atrocious really fucking terrible um i i think i think that sort of watch there you take that to a dealer they're going to be offering you five or six thousand dollars that's a fucking haircut and a half so i gotta be honest with you you want to be careful if you're buying an amiga i mean that is a cool looking amiga it's a quality watch but fuck, if you're paying sixteen thousand, and then a dealer's talking five or six fuck fuck that's all i can say be very careful kevin i'd i'd be a little bit careful there uh, admittedly, the Aquaterra is, is, is nowhere near that, that price point, but you've got to be careful. You go and buy an Amiga, whew, if you're not careful, I mean, the iconic Speedmaster, the man on the moon, the manual wind, uh, the first Amiga in space, they're, they're quite cool, but Amiga does so many fucking stupid things. That fucking Iron Man. So, so what do they do? They make a funky box. They take the bracelet off and put it on a NATO. And charge you a fuckload more. Absolutely nuts. And, and I, I really think Amiga is fucking dangerous. i got to be honest with you there. Unless you're buying Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Fucking tread carefully. It's an Amiga warning. This video is an Amiga warning. I, I would be very careful. Be very, 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 very careful how you do it, man. This guy paid 16000 for a fucking Planet Ocean chronograph. If he would have bought a bluesy, he'd, he'd, stand, he'd get most of his money back. But of course, he's bought an Amiga. And you think Amiga is a good brand? It, it is a good brand. Fuck. The depreciation curve is savage. It's very savage. So I've got to be honest with you, Kevin. You're buying an Aquaterra. They're pretty soft. They're pretty soft. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. Uh, in five years, I hope to buy a two-tone Datejust 41. Kevin, don't buy the Amiga. Don't buy the Amiga. Don't buy the Amiga. It's not a store of value anymore. The market is flooded with Amigas. And the resale value is fucking atrocious. Fucking atrocious, okay? It's atrocious. And uh, I tell you where a good place you want to buy a second-hand Amiga, Sydney Watch Exchange. Fucking terrible retention. It's sad to say. It's sad for me to make this video. I feel very fucking sad to these people who forked out big coin to buy Amigas of their dreams only to be butt fucked butt fucked at resale time butt fucked and I mean that, that that's not a nice that's not a nice way to fucking say it but what do I fucking say what can I say when they've been butt fucked butt fucked that's all it is it's butt fucked but completely butt fucked it's fucking terrible so my advice, honestly, unless you're buying an iconic Amiga, gotta be damn careful because they're almost as bad as Panerai. They're almost as bad. I mean, at one stage, their Amiga was almost at the Rolex level, and I look at this chronograph. The quality is fucking amazing. It's it's really good. Stick with Rolex. Stick with Rolex, man. St if he would have bought a bluesy, he'd get most of his money. He'd be retained. Retained. If he bought a two-tone, okay, he likes the two-tone. Two-tone GMT. We wouldn't be having this conversation. It's fucking... It's atrocious. 
So, Kevin, I've got to be honest with you, man. I, I, I hope you're not looking at trading in the, um, the Equiteur. The Equiteur is a nice watch. It's kind of their, their Datejust equivalent. And, and it is a nice watch. I, 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 I love Amiga. I love Amigas. But you can't train the bastards in. This is, this is the way it's gone. So, Kevin, thank you so much for your paid review. I, I just want to say, man, I hope you're not going to trade it in because you will be butt-fucked at trading time. And the Rolex keeps going up. Fucking terrible. It's terrible. So uh, just, just tread, tread very carefully. Thanks thanks for the paid review, Kevin. Much appreciated. Uh, maybe keep the Aquaterra and just buy a date just 41, two-tone. I love my two-tone. I love my two-tone. <coughs> I, I, I love two-tone. Two-tone is so cool. But be careful, Kevin. Murky waters. Murky waters. So there we go, guys. That's a paid review for Kevin. I'm Paul Pluter. This is the Paul Pluter channel. Remember, guys, like, subscribe. Tell your fuckwit friends. Don't forget, paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. So please keep them coming. And... Um, uh, don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends, nasty comments below, and remember, get a paid review done. It keeps me making honest commentary. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.